Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Tops Finest Baseball 8 box pick your team number 9 here on a home run derby day. All card ship. Let's do this. It's a fun break. Did a case yesterday. We got the next case. So this is pick your team 9. The next case is um, in single digits. We might be able to sell that out straight up without a filler. But I can create another one after this break if need be. Ed P ended up with Last Bot Mojo with the Astros. If you have Cap 34 next to your name, we did that Capstone pack. Random team number 34 and gave away those teams right there. A lot of fun stuff. Um, if you're just joining us, feel free or please vote in our poll. Who wins the Home Run Derby, the 2023 Home Run Derby presented by... I'm sure someone's presenting it. The three favorites I've posted in the poll. Pete Alonzo is the favorite. Then it's Vlad Guerrero Jr., Julio Rodriguez. YouTube doesn't give me any more options past that. So there's also someone else, the field. So is it going to be Pete, Vlad, Julio, or the field? Place your votes and... We can discuss in the chat. Uh, I think it's probably going to be one of the favorites that's going to win. Right? Pete, Vlad, or Julio. But just for, just for value purposes, as a value play, not necessarily what I think is going to happen, i put a little bit on, the, uh, on Adalis Garcia. I don't know, Adalis Garcia in this my pick. But yes, Rex, um, Pete Alonso did have two in a row at one point. I think Vlad Guerrero Jr. reached a final at one point, right? But I don't think, he, I don't forget who he lost to, but. Anyone, uh, anyone else uh, have any investments in the Home Run Derby tonight? Uh, Justin, ju actually that comment lives on in that part of the stream right there, but Justin retracting his uh, his play on uh, Joey Votto. I don't think he, he's not in the home run derby. Although he should be. Has he ever been? This guy's in the home run derby. 84 out of 125, Moogie Betts. I was going to pick him as my sort of longer shot pick, but I think his first round... Let's see, home run, derby, I guess bracket. I think his first round is, is against someone kind of tough. It might be Vlad Guerrero Jr. <laughs> yeah, it's Betts versus Vlad Guerrero Jr. So it might be an early exit for Mookie. There's Luis Robert. He's in the home run derby. So Mookie Betts goes to Ed P in the Dodgers. Luis Robert goes to Allen in the White Sox. He won that in the filler. That's to 300. Luis Robert is a, up against uh, Adley Rushman. And there's rookie auto Shea Langliers. A's. That's going to be Chris with the Athletics. Do an autograph recap at the end of this break, too.
There's some gold headliners. Randy Johnson, 44 out of 50. Ah, Justin has had him just to record a hit the other night. Did that cash? And we got uh, Len Lenyon? Lenyon Sosa. Another one for Alan. For the Derby, you chose Garcia this morning. We're on the we're on the uh, same page, Justin. As did I. What did you get him at? I got him at plus six seventy five, half a unit. Thought that was a good value play. I guess CBS has him at plus six hundred, so I got at least I got the better of that number. Pete Alonso is the favorite, but he's as Rex pointed out, he had a couple in a row at one point. Maybe he was in a final of a third. But is he hungry for the home run derby title again? I think I saw something on TV where the person originally pitching to him, maybe his dad, is is actually not going to be throwing to him. Someone else will be. I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but it could. Then Flag Guerrero Jr., Luis Robert, Julio Rodriguez, Adolis Garcia, Mookie Betts, Randy, Arzarena, and Adley Rushman. That kind of rounds out the, the home run derby contestants from favorite to least favorite. I would have taken Mookie Betts. I mentioned this before, but I would have taken Mookie Betts if it wasn't for... If it wasn't for him facing off against Vlad Guerrero Jr. in the first round. All right, next box. Good luck. Now Mike Trout to 75. For Chris and the Angels. Yeah, Antonio thinking Vladdy's gonna go off. Oh, nice Corbin Carroll, rookie refractor for Tristan and the Diamondbacks. I think he's still your leading candidate, at least according to Vegas, leading candidate for NL Rookie of the Year. Ah, Votto did not hit, but you got Garcia at plus 700. That's pretty good. Better than my price. The Byron Bucks into 250 for the Twins. That will be for Jason K. And a Byron Bucks an autograph for Jason K. 23 out of 25. Orange on card auto. Nice. Looks sharp. I like the finest design this year. I want Pete to win, though. Him and Griffey would be tied more wins all time. You think he still has the hunger for it? And maybe he does. He can chance to match a record. There's Vaughn Grissom to 100. All spots uh, vary depending on the break, the type of break, and the type of product that we're opening up. But if you visit our website, jazpiececasebreaks.com, you can check all of that out. 169 out of 175, Mike Trout. More Corbin Carroll. Volpe's having another little bit of a resurgence there. And there's Michael Massey, rookie auto for the uh, for the Royals. Daniel Smith with Kansas City.
Volpe for the Yankees, Daniel Smith, Corbin Carroll for Tristan. We had the Shane McClanahan green uh, lava to 99. All right, next box. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, vote in our poll. Who do you think will win the Home Run Derby? Should be starting in a few minutes. Is it going to be with the, the top three favorites? Pete, Vlad, Julio? He's playing at home. Or will it be someone else? Will it be the field? 35% saying that they're taking someone else. They're taking the field. Justin's way. I gotta. I, I gotta try that too. You got me excited about that, Justin. Justin kind of, kind of figured something out here. He's been taking. He's been parlaying stolen base unders. Per uh, per major league game. It's a ballpark that I'd like to go to in Seattle. That looks nice. That's true, Antonio, yeah. I think all the rule changes is definitely, has very clearly and obviously made stealing a lot more, uh, a lot more easier this year. Michael Grove, Dodgers rookie pitcher Michael Grove. Just trying to soak up some innings while a lot of Dodgers pitchers are injured. Not lighting it up like Bobby Miller, but he's pretty solid. But yeah, but Justin discovered something. I think probably at the beginning of the season, I'll bet that... Uh, Overs on steals were, were probably a right play, but I think Vegas might have overcorrected too far the other way. And now, it, at least for now, there's some there's some value in uh, might be some value taking unders on steals. You think, uh, Antonio? You think? Uh, you think Ronald Cunha Jr. Could he get 50-50? Here's some moments right here. Carlton Fisk, back in October 21, 1975. Yep, provided one of the most indelible moments in postseason history in Game 6 of the 1975 World Series. With Cincinnati Boston tied 6-6 in the bottom of the 12th, Carlton led off with a deep drive to left. As he hopped down the line, the Red Sox catcher frantically waved his arms to the right, urging the ball to stay fair. It did. That is a moment. Ed P with the Red Sox. It's Brandon Crawford to 250. Oscar Colas to 300. Byron Buxton to 99. Nice. Yeah, it should be. We break from uh, 3 p.m. L.A. time to uh, 11 p.m. Uh, Los Angeles time. So I'd be shocked if that didn't break tonight. There's also a break schedule that I just dropped in the chat. You can keep an eye on that and see you know, when your break appears on there. Remember, we also do what we call uh, fillers here, Antonio. So sometimes a break would get sold out, but we're actually giving away some spots in a separate thing. But we don't have that for break 10 at the moment. So break 10, we can sell out straight up, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, even if even if Ronald Acuna Jr. does forty seventy, that's that's still that's still a forty forty season, which is pretty amazing. He's he's starting to ramp up the uh, ramp up the homers too. So that'd be something to watch the last this what in the traditional second half of the season. We're technically already past this. The halfway point, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you don't get hurt, that that's always seems to be the the thing kind of hanging over his head. He's got the injury bug. But yeah, he's got to be the favorite for MVP, right? This corner Vegas. There's Adley Rushman. There's Trey Turner to 300 for the Phillies. That'll be for Chris. There's a long shot. Adley Rushman in the home run derby, though. Michael with the O's. And here's Clay Holmes, gold, 32 out of 50. Yankees, that'll be for Daniel. Got the uh, Yankees straight up. Uh, I'm a Dodger fan. Some Corbin Carroll. Cardinals and Mets fan. How does that? What happens when they play each other? Here's Boba Shet, Green Lava to 99. It's Cal Mitchell, rookie auto. Yeah, Raiders guy, Lakers, LA Galaxy, Pittsburgh, Phil with the Pirates. Liverpool Football Club, if you're talking about Premier League teams. Nolan Gorman at 250. Bryce Harper and Carlos Correa. All right, halfway through this uh, eight box break. Let's go with the next. I'm a Dodgers fan, but wishes I could love the Giants. I could if I wanted to. I choose not to, though. I choose not to. Do we need this elaborate introduction? I don't think so. I think this could be a. I mean. I don't mind the introduction, but I feel like they can they can can breeze through this part here. Yeah, it's kind of like what the Mariners did last year for the Reds and Diamondbacks. I feel like the Reds is a little more surprising to me. I mean, I guess I follow the NL West, so so I kind of saw the those youngsters on the Diamondbacks coming through the pipeline, but I didn't, you know, I didn't think they were going to be ahead of schedule like they are. The Reds definitely was a surprise, though. I think once Elliot De La Cruz came up, it just seems like they haven't stopped since. Did I have one former Giants player that I loved growing up? No, I'm not a fan of any, any Giants.
Another Corbin Carroll rookie card. There's Kettle Marte and a Mark Vientos autograph. 96 out of 300 Kettle Marte for the Snakes. That'll be Tristan. And there's Mark Vientos rookie refractor autograph for the Mets, Joe Ivers for the Metropolitans. Yeah, Mookie Betts, let's go. Allen looking for a big hurt autograph. Justin saying, did I read the details about Brad Bonham, the Alabama baseball coach? I did not. But weren't they involved with some sort of uh, some sort of gambling scandal? Here's 20 out of 50 Ezekiel Tovar for the Rocks. That'll be for Chad. We got Hunter Brown to 199 for the Astros. Got a Josh Young for Tristan. The Hunter Brown will go to Ed. And another Rushman rookie going to Michael. Michael F. And Oswald Peraza, rookie auto for the Yankees. Daniel. That'll be for Daniel Smith. And Wilson Contreras to 250 for Mallory and the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I have that plus 675. Auto for the Rocks. Chad. Byron Buxton to 150 for Jason and the Twins. And a prize at a 250 for Daniel and the Yankees. And Miguel Vargas, 72 and a 99. Just got sent down the other day to figure things out. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he doesn't stay down there too long. Ed P with the Dodgers. Matthew Libertor, it's 250 from Mallory. Solid anthem there. Spencer Steer, he's having a nice season to 199. 
So he got greedy, huh? I'll have, to, I'll have to read up on that story. Was he betting against the team or something like that? I think he got... I think they actually stopped betting on some of those college baseball games because of suspicious activity. I guess he, that would happen if he got greedy. I did see the Luis Robert custom bat. Yeah, I guess I guess for the home run derby you could do whatever you want with your equipment, right? But yeah, it has like a snake on it. It looks pretty neat. What's up, Daniel? Daniel's saying there was a televised home run derby 1960. Prize winner was two thousand dollars. What would that be in today's dollars? Adjusted for inflation. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle. Didn't they used to? I feel like back back in the day, but not that far back, uh, they would re-televise that on, on like a local TV channel here, ABC or something like that. Would do it. Oh, it was a weekly show. I think that they've replayed that. I've seen that before. I think they've replayed it on TV, maybe on ABC, Wild World, World of Sports, or they'll just replay it on a Sunday morning or something like that, at least it's hard. Black and white. Oh no. So that Alabama coach, Justin, saying, had a guy try and place a bet on LSU the night Alabama played them. That was over $100,000, and that raised suspicions. Not only are you betting against your own team, you're getting greedy. Altuve to 300, and Jonathan Aranda, rookie auto for the Rays. That'll be for Guy in Tampa Bay. Like there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of dumbos who are gonna get uh, who are gonna get caught for being dumbos. Don't be a dumbo, ladies and gentlemen. Do your best. <laughs> Try your best not to. All right, we got JT Real Muto autograph behind him. Thirty-five out of fifty. Tops world's finest. Pretty cool looking card. I'll go to the Phillies, of course. That'll be for Chris. And we've got Drew Waters, rookie autograph. That'll be for Kansas City. It's going to go to Daniel. Wow, surveillance? Was this in the casino? Casino surveillance? Could read text messages off the phone in your hand? Wow. I guess that doesn't surprise me. Simeon Woods Richardson to 125 green speckles. Uh, that'll be for the twins. It's going to go to Jason K. Uh, Raphael Devers to 175. Aqua Shimmer, and that's going to go to Ed and the Red Sox. And final box coming up. Got another case in the store. Pick your team 10, which has no filler yet, but it's down to seven teams. If that's not full, we're sold out by the time I finish this break. I'll pull the remaining seven teams out and we'll give them away. We'll bake that price into a cheap pack and we'll sell 30 spots and then we'll uh, give away those remaining teams.
All right, enough of the enough of the pregame stuff. ESPN, let's go. Give us the derby. How do we like the the hats this year? The All Star Game hats, a little understated, but I kind of like the mountain range on the side and the little little star above the team logo on the front of the cap. Um, no. YouTube will still operate as YouTube, Justin. Yeah, that Fanatics Live marketplace being sort of soft launched. Uh, we, we will be on that platform. But YouTube will still stream on YouTube as usual. Maybe some some slight changes happening. One hundred out of one fifty, Matthew Libertor. Cardinals, that'll be for Mallory. And Michael Harris. Rookie auto. I guess he didn't have rookie cards in twenty twenty two. Still nice though, Braves, that's gonna be for Jeremy, Jeremy Port. DL Hall to 199 O's, Michael. There's Estuary Ruiz. He might steal 100 bases this year. What what number is he? Where where is he at? Uh, at the All Star break. And MLB stats. Let's just show me complete leaders. Stolen bases. He is at 43 stolen bases. Does he get to 100 this year? That's going to be for Chris Butler in the Oakland A's. Ronald Acuna has 41, and then it drops all the way down to Wander Franco with 28. There's Jacob DeGrom to 250. Look at that, my friends. Is that? So that was Topps Finest Baseball 2023 edition. Eight box, pick your team number nine from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick little recap. Fun little break, a lot of great colors and quality. On card autos, sharp looking set. Some old school guys, rookies, current stars, etc., etc. A lot of great stuff there. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.